Good morning, lifestyle lovers. Happy Sunday. Mama, Wel Mama. Welcome back to another vlog. No. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Erica. No. <laughs> My channel is called It's E Lifestyle, and it's all about creating a good lifestyle. Yeah. Mooka, don't hit him in the face like that. My morning. Stop. As you can see, I got a little chaos going on. Um, but this is the start of a new vlog. <laughs> I'm still in the bed, y'all. Uh, I got up, fixed breakfast for the kids. No. I got my grand oh, my grandson King, and my son Mookie. They over there just cutting up. Um, and I'm still in the bed, y'all. I'm tired. This body is 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 aching. What are we gonna do the tits off? I don't know. We could do it after practice. So me and Mookie, we're gonna do a skit. Y'all probably gonna see it in in this vlog, I guess. Um. So yeah, I just Stop. wanted to go ahead. Stop it! Stop. Leave him alone. No, no, I oh, come on, it. King. I just want to go ahead and start start off the vlog. Lifestyle lovers, not sure what we have in store, but. I'm trying to keep vlogging and vlogging and vlogging and vlogging. <laughs> Mookie, stop. Come on, King. Come tell the lifestyle of us, hey. He throwing him on my bed, y'all. Come on. Come tell him, hey. Stop hitting him. He been hitting me. Come on. Tell the lifestyle of us, hey. Get over here. Come on. You gonna be a good, good grandson? Girl, look at this thing. Look. Look, y'all. Tell him, hey. Say hey, lifestyle. Look at him. Tell him hey. You ain't gonna tell him hey. He do be hit. Now look. Now look at him. Look at him. Now when Mookie hit him back, he wanna tell. We got you on camera. And hey, baby, he'll haul off and he'll just hit him in the chest. Right now, he ain't sure <laughs> in the chest for nothing. He sure did. He been knocking the shit out of Mookie. <laughs> Stop fighting. That's not nice. Okay, y'all. So, I just came on to start the vlog off. I'm trying to get some energy still in the bed. Um, But I'll check back in with you. <laughs> Stop! I'll check back in with you guys later. Stop playing so much. Hey, lifestyle lovers. So, 
Today is still Sunday. It's a little later on in the day. My grandson King is, is gone home. He, he gave me my room for her money, but I survived. So, um, so him and, um, so King is gone, gone home. It's probably about six o'clock. So babe is getting ready to get off work and he is having a ugly Christmas part, ugly Christmas sweater party this upcoming weekend. So he wants to get out and get some stuff for the party. So I think we may try to do like a Target run, home goods if possible. And also they have like a neighborhood that pretty much has all of the lights, all of the Christmas decor. So I think we're gonna try to do that as well. So Mookie is upstairs getting ready. I just kind of put on this two piece sweater set from Express. It's really, really comfortable. You guys have seen it a million times. It is old and y'all know I love comf my comfortable clothes. So I wear them over and over and over again. Um, but yeah, so I, want, I wanted to show you guys my ugly Christmas sweater that I'm gonna be wearing to the party. I'm gonna try it on for you guys cause it's kinda like a theme song that goes along with it. So I'm gonna try it on. Um, it's really not a sweater. It's kinda like a, a sweatshirt. So, um, so I'm gonna try it on. You, got, you guys gonna get a kick out of this. So this is my sweatshirt that I'm wearing to the ugly Christmas sweater party and it says there's some hoes in this house. It looks like it has Cardi B on it. It has like some dollar bills and it says there's some hoes in this house. <laughs> it's not really ugly but I'm sure that it's going to be uh, real funny at the party. And I also bought this headband from Walmart that says, ho, ho, ho. There's some hoes in this house. There's some hoes in this house. If you see them, point them out. <laughs> so this is real cute lifestyle lovers. I really, I really, I think, I think this is going to be like, People gonna get a kick out of this at the party. But um, I got this sweatshirt from Amazon, if you are wondering. I think it comes in like several different colors. So I will link it below. It was like $30 and it took like no time to come, maybe like a, a few days. So if you're interested in ordering it just for shits and giggles, I will link it in the description box. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and get out the door. I definitely will be vlogging cause I am gonna take my camera. So, see you guys in a few. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys right quick that I was kind of playing around with some ideas on the coffee table. Now, typically every year I will put um, my Eclipse vase from Z Gallery. I'll, I'll insert a picture below if you guys are not familiar with the Eclipse vase, but it's a very popular um, from Z Gallery. Tons of people have it on Instagram. I see it on Instagram and you can do so many different things with this vase. So typically I'll put it here on my coffee table. If I can find a picture in my phone, I'll insert a picture from last year because I'll fill it with fake snow and then I'll just add different stuff like a reindeer. Um, but I wanted to do something different this year. So I was kind of like playing around with some stuff and I wanted to show you guys um, I, I have to get some batteries while we're out for my, um, for my battery operated garland, but I think I'm going to do something like this because it looks a little bit more modern. It looks a little bit more simple and I, 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 I wanted to try to keep it simple this year, but I kind of like this look and maybe, I don't know, maybe I don't need anything else. You know, other than the lights, I know the lights will brighten it up, but I kind of like, I think I'm going to go with this particular look and I may, while we're out, I'll get some, some snot, some flock spray and just flock it just to add, you know, just to add some fake snow with it. 
but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I've been getting a lot of compliments about, you know, how you guys are loving the, you know, the new decor, the living area. It looks really, really good in here. I wish you guys could just like physically be here, but it looks good. Once I get my chair, it looks, I, like, I gotta pat myself on the back because it looks really, really good. Um, but I, ha I have not updated you guys. I did reach out to another contractor about the backsplash. Matter of fact, I'm gonna text him in a few, um, but he's gonna start on that this week. But I have to confirm to make sure he knows that he told me he was gonna start on that this week. So that'll be done for, for before Christmas, hopefully and prayfully. So I wanted to kind of update you guys on that. And then I'm thinking about something else. I'm not gonna share it. Um, I'm gonna reach out to um, someone that I know that does it and just to see if he can do it and it may I may just surprise you guys with it um, because I've been thinking about it for a minute I was gonna wait till next year but I may incorporate it it just in the living room area before Christmas so we'll see stay, stay tuned for that and another thing lifestyle lovers this is what I did with the three the three green trees that I purchased from Hobby Lobby that I shared with you guys in probably the last vlog, I believe. I purchased these, so I just kind of added them, and I, I like that better. And I think I'm going to add some fake snow to the bookshelf, but I'm not going to do, I'm going to do like the cotton type snow. That way it won't be too messy. But I think I'm going to do that. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down We stay up waiting for Santa tonight He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light While we're dancing around the Christmas tree Hugging and kissing just you and me
Okay, lifestyle lovers, we just left Cheesecake Factory. How they got it out of here? And we're headed into Target. And Babe was just telling us somebody stole the red Target ball and put it in their car. Was this in Jacksonville? Yes. <laughs> it was in, what Target was it? He said it happened in Jacksonville. It was where? But it was in Jacksonville? Now y'all out here still in the damn Target ball. For real. <laughs> They did it on Black Friday? Yes. <laughs> so we're in Target. We're looking for some home stuff. Home decor. So we just left Cheesecake getting some dinner. We went to see the lights. Look at these flowers. They're like holidays, Valentine's Day coming up, babe. Valentine's Day is way in February. We're just coming up. Just so yeah, we're looking for some home stuff. We're gonna take our time shopping in Target. Everybody loves Target. I don't know people who stole that ball. <laughs> y'all still, y'all like here still in the Target ball in Jacksonville. Target that much yet? Still? <laughs> y'all know we get on Duval. I thought you was talking about that happened in another city or something. Yeah. So it was this is that Target? Duval <laughs> County. No, they go sit here. Duval County. <laughs> hey, on, on, only in Duval. You say probably Regis. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. All right, y'all. So let's see what we can find. I like that one. That is cute. Oh, I like this one. Uh, the what? The present wraps when you wrap presents. Did it go to wraps over here? Tell the, the lifestyle of us, hey. Hey. <laughs> y'all see y'all virtual nephew. Um. I remember one night on Christmas Eve, I was crying because I couldn't go to sleep. I thought Santa wasn't going to come. He wasn't going to come. Huh? He's not going to come. Oh, look at Me and my daddy. Where was I? I don't know. You out were, shopping. You were out late somewhere. I don't know. You were probably cheating on my daddy. But, uh. <laughs> Shut your ass up. Yeah. Now you're gonna get your behind toe up now. You're you you being me. too grown. You just me and my daddy at home. Get out I'm my face. Uh, it's $70 for those 24 rounds around the world. Aw. Uh, Cabernet nasty. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got. Oh, you know what? Way. I was just surprised to see Moet. They got Moet in Target. I was surprised to see that in Target. Hmm. Look at that. Oh, they got. Oh, different kind of Uno. What is it? Mm-hmm. Look, look like it got a. What is F.A. F.A. Swartz? That's at the toy. I think that's the toy company. Oh. Uh. Oh, Uno get, champ. What you I beat. For I don't beat both of these guys in Uno like hundreds and millions of times. <laughs> yes, I am. I've never met my match. You heard what Mookie say? I can't. I can't wait to meet your match. You mean what? I love different. I Hey, lifestyle lovers. Happy Tuesday. So I told you guys, I'm just trying to make sure I have all of the lights on in here. I told you guys that I was graduating from my women's leadership program that I have been in for the past nine months. So that actually happened today. I started the program in Atlanta around January or February. I can't remember, but if you guys have been watching me for that long, then you remember when I started the program, we did the kickoff in Lake Lanier in Atlanta. So we are graduating here in Jacksonville Beach. I am stay staying at Margaritaville. So we're getting ready to head to dinner. I'm going to, you know, change into something more comfortable because we're um, going to eat here in the res in the hotel. And um, and Babe is coming down a little a little later once he gets off work. 
So I wanted to, what was I getting ready to do? I think I was getting ready to uh, read my, read my diploma to you guys so we got like a little certificate of achievement and it's actually a women's leadership program so it's for women who work in business corporate environments and it kind of help you develop yourself as a leader kind of give you the tools that you need because most of the corporate environments are male dominated so it just kind of you know gives you the tools that you need to kind of set yourself apart in a most of the time male dominated environment most of the time white male but i'm just gonna uh this is kind of my diploma but i just want to just read to you what it says so we got a certificate of achievement the program is actually called soar um and it says in so much as SOAR graduates shall remain strong women, helping to build strong companies, acting as agents of positive change, setting an example of exemplary leadership, making a difference in the lives of others, and leaving footprints in which the women who follow them may walk and thrive. Um, and all of the women except for one was promoted during the time that they were in the program. It's a really good program. The company sponsored it. It was a few thousand dollars, probably about seven thousand dollars to be, um, to be exact. And I was actually nominated or suggested by you know my old my old boss. She kind of nominated me for the program, and then it kind of had to go up in the chain of command to get approval. And so now I'm graduating. So um, so yeah, I'm gonna give you guys a quick room tour, and then I need to get ready because I have probably about. 30 minutes before dinner starts um and i'm gonna show you guys what i'm wearing i wanted to take a picture in the lobby but um i couldn't find anyone to take my picture and i did not want to interrupt any of the any of the workers which i may go back down there and interrupt them but this is kind of like it has this is really really old i don't know if you guys can tell it's kind of tight at the top but this is like a dress. I don't know what you call like the little opening. But this is what I wore today for our meeting. It's from New York and Company. Really, really old. <laughs> really, really old. And then I just kind of paired it with some tan pumps. So this is pretty much the look. And I wanted to get a uh, get a get a picture, but I didn't. So let me give you guys a quick room tour. This is the bathroom pretty much has like you know the tropical type feel this is how it looks mostly everything is like green and white um and then of course we have the full size mirror right here this is the bed and then I do not have an ocean view I'm actually facing the street but there is the ocean. Let me like open it up. This is oh. okay. This is Jacksonville Beach. Let me kind of zoom in so you guys can see. Okay. So that's Jacksonville Beach. Over here we have the coffee area, which it looks like is a Keurig over here. Um, some tropical pictures. And then I have the desk area because I kind of kind of had to log on and do some work. But this is the room. <sighs> okay, lifestyle lovers. So let me get changed up. I'll give you guys probably film some um some areas of the hotel because it's really really nice i'm only here for a night i have to return to work in the morning so when i tell you guys how busy my life is just like it's this oh but um yeah so i check back in with you guys later i need to get ready okay lifestyle lovers so just to show you guys what i'm wearing to dinner i just did my distressed jeans 
Got my Dolce and Cabana Sorrento sneakers. You guys know I love these sneakers. And then I just have like a t-shirt from Express. I'm doing my MCM crossbody. And then I have my um, Louis Vuitton wristlet so I can carry my phone in this one. There was no reason to get all dressed up. We are on a beach. Um, and so I just want to be comfortable. Um, we're going to have our last dinner for the um, SOAR program. Um, so yeah, so see you guys in a bit. Okay, lifestyle lover. So after dinner, we had dinner. Um, it's probably about eight o'clock. It's not even eight o'clock. It's really, really early. Um, but we're gonna get in the pool. They do have a heated pool, so I did bring my swimsuit. I just, you know, changed into um, a two-piece bikini. This is from Target. I brought this this summer um, when I was going to. Well, where did I go? Was it Cabo? I bought this this summer on my trip to Cabo, but I didn't wear it. And the cover-up is from Shein. So it's like a blue bikini. And then the cover-up, as you can see, 
it has like the colors blue and kind of you know like a little tan color a little white so this is what i'm wearing down to the pool i'm still waiting on babe i believe he's on his way so we'll probably just i guess get in the pool um so this is what i'm wearing i'm gonna head to the pool meet a few of my sore sisters down to the pool just trying to enjoy this one night uh staycation it's kind of like a staycation because we're still in jacksonville we're just at the beach so um headed down to the pool and i'll see you guys at the pool Good morning, lifestyle lovers. Happy Friday. It's actually probably about four minutes to 12 p.m. So today is Friday. It is a few days later. I had a very, very busy week. I just came on to close out the vlog, wrap it up with you guys. I took a vacation day. And when I tell you, I got some of the best sleep of my life this morning. I got up, got my son off to school, and I'm telling you guys, I hardly ever, ever get the chance to sleep late. And sleeping to 10 a.m. is sleeping late to me. I'm always up 6, 7, 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, it's been a busy few weeks, but my sword graduation was pretty much the last thing that I needed to do um, 
for 2022. So hopefully, and I got a lot of vacation coming up. So hopefully um, I can get an opportunity to relax and, you know, things to kind of calm down so I can prepare for a new year. Um, I just wanted to update you guys on Margaritaville. Um, I was only there for one night, but I enjoyed it. Babe ended up coming down. And although when he got there, it was late. So we did not have the opportunity to kind of enjoy the beach. I would definitely recommend it as a kind of like a home away from home. Like a, um, what do they call it? Like a staycation. Um, it didn't have like a lot of amenities, but there is a restaurant on the property, which is kind of like a bar restaurant. They serve, serve bar food, like tacos and burgers and stuff like that. But there's tons of restaurants on Jacksonville Beach, a lot of brunch spots. So we're definitely going to go back, you know, just get the opportunity to kind of enjoy Jacksonville Beach as well as, you know, stay there. One of the things that I notice about it is they're clean. That's very important to me anywhere i stay it is kind of a new hotel i think it's been there maybe maybe two or three years but they're very they're very clean um so we're definitely going to go back so if you're in the jacksonville area i definitely will recommend it as a staycation i know the rate i'm not sure if it was a, if, if it was a company rate but it was probably about 200 dollars a night but of course that was a company sponsored event the company paid for it so i'm not sure if that was a company rate but i'm quite sure it's more expensive during the weekend but i would definitely recommend it um so yeah so that's it for this vlog lifestyle lovers i hope you enjoyed it i'm just kind of cleaning up i just cleaned off of my dining table so i'm getting ready to uh pretty much get ready to put my christmas decor on the dining table so you guys will get to see that in the next vlog um let's see also babe is having a ugly christmas sweater party tomorrow so i'm gonna help him prepare for that you guys will probably see that in the next vlog as well but that is it for this vlog lifestyle lovers as i stated i hope you enjoyed it um i hope you have a great week a great weekend whenever you're watching this and i'll see you on the next video Bye.